We are going to reintroduce fire to a high quality white oak um, woodland in eastern Iowa. And this woodland is uh, the kind of woodland that we had throughout the eastern part of the state, oh, probably at least 5,000 years, maybe closer to 10,000 years. What happened is in the last couple hundred years, since we've had farming taking over in Iowa, um, we've had the suppression of fire so that farm fields, farmers could operate uh, successfully in the state. And that meant that the woodland started to degrade because these oak woodlands burned just the way our prairies burned originally. So we're reintroducing fire, we're reintroducing an ancient process that was necessary for the maintenance of biodiversity. And it's sort of, I think of it as letting the woodland rewrite its operating instructions. I'm excited, I'm fearful, this is a big deal to me. This is something I always said to my family that um, before I die, I want to see this whole woods burned regularly. And this is the first step in doing that. I've done patchy burns for golly, over 10, 10 years in the woods, but I just haven't had the skill and the courage to do a whole chunk. So we own about 18 acres here. Today we're going to burn five of those 18 acres, almost a third. In Iowa, we commonly use what's called the ring fire method. So if we have winds, say, coming out of the west like we do today, then we would start on the east side and slowly allow the fire to burn back into the wind. It's called back burning into the wind. And we would light a line of fire along that east, this east side, which is actually where we're standing right now, um, working our way north and south, and then taking the fire down the north and south flanks until we would get to the western side. And then we would allow the wind to force the fire into the areas that we'd already burned. We've prepared the breaks in most of the area on Connie's property today where we're going to be burning on one side of the break and then there's bare dirt or earth or gravel or roadway where there's obviously no fuel. So if you've removed the fuel, the fire can't obviously go there. We have a tool called a drip torch, which has a fuel inside. It's a mixture of gasoline and diesel fuel. And you use that then as a tool to kind of paint the fire and take the fire where you want it to go. It should only move then as fast as you're sort of encouraging it to go. I wouldn't try this at home, uh, especially if you've never done anything like it before. I would strongly encourage you, if you're thinking about burning, to, to go, you know, meet, find someone in your local area that would be doing this sort of thing. Try to join in on, on their events and their burns before you would ever try it by yourself. Uh, there's a lot of good information on the internet and I know a lot of people that, you know, learn by the internet and kind of use that as their, their guide. Um, but the practical experience in the field is, is totally different than what you can read about.